Howdy everybody, this is Mighty Scavenger. I hope y'all having a wonderful, lovely day. I'm up out and early again. We out there on the curb trying to find some stuff. Let's go get it. Ow! What we got here, y'all? Little scrabby scrab. Like somebody clean shot. <laughs> Check that out, y'all. Some scrabity scrab. Wake up, people. The day has started. <clears throat> A lovely day. Uh, Mel over here. Ooh, little scrappy scrap. That is. Ah, I'll take it. What we got here, y'all? Nothing. Nothing at all. Ow! What we got here, y'all? Looks like a barbecue pit. And I got room. Let's get it. might take this guy apart and see just how much you can really get off of a barbecue pit. This looks like a nicer one too, so there's probably some steak. Definitely a little brass. What the heck is that? That's like a big old light. A mercury exposure system? What? I don't even know what that is. Open her up and see what's inside. Yeah, that's that's metal. Uh. Uh. Well, there goes the glass. You think up in there, y'all? Oh, that's just PVC. Talk about a heat wave! Ow! What we got here, y'all? Just a little scrabbity scrab scrab. Alright, let's grab it. Oh, somebody's glasses. Look at there, y'all. Another pressure washer. Hello. Is it okay? Uh, you have a. Uh, if I take this? All right. Does it work or is it complete? It's no good? Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'll take her apart and scrap her out. All right, thank you. Morning. Uh-oh, y'all, ceiling fan time. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get them. <sighs> All right. I like my ceiling fans, y'all. Y'all should see my bucket of brackets I got going. I've got a tub just full of ceiling fan brackets. <laughs> that is what that is. Oh, it's a fireplace stuff, y'all. Those last pokers I found, these handles were brass, but I don't think these are gonna be brass. Either way, scrabity scrab. See what we got there, look like a screen, y'all. A little bit of aluminum. 
get us a little bit of aluminum here. Seal out. I'm gonna get my stick. Just like that, y'all. Couple sticks of aluminum. What we got here, y'all. Little scrappity scrap scrap. Like a good table. Yeah. I like tables. They're good for stiff. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put 50 cents on that cool garage sale. So. What that is, y'all, what that is. Scrappity scrap. Hmm. Yeah, this guy right here, to me, it's just not worth it. All that glass for that little bit of metal right there. <sighs> Too much. What we got here, y'all? Old school Kent road bike. Old school, brother. It's a, a woman's frame. Oh yeah, she's in bad shape. Ugh. All right. We'll give you some new life. Yeah, almost drove right past that guy. <clears throat> Get in my truck. Yeah, daddy. I think I saw some scrap, y'all. Let's see if it's scrap. Sure does look metal-ish to me. Looks like a couple leaf springs. Car park, brother. Little scrap, scrap, scrap. Look at that, y'all, it's another bike. Anything good? Another Kent. Can y'all believe that? Two Kents in one day. That's not a bad looking bike. I could fix that up, sell it. Ugh. That guy, not so much. Check it out, y'all. Dottie's cousin. What up, cuz? Y'all check out the size of that boot. Now that, my friends, is a Texas sized boot. Straight up. That's gotta be at least 100 pounds. Look at this pile of stuff, y'all. Yes, sir. Get some rims. Another table. It's a metal table, so if it's no bueno, Snap her out. Got some, got some metal sticks. Right. This aluminum ladder. Didn't close her up anymore. Well, we're gonna go ahead and sort out what we can fix up the other things we can and get on up to the scrap yard make a few bucks what y'all say Ow! all righty scavengers well here is what we got today after it's all kind of been sorted out back here i've got um all the iron uh, i took a little bit off of that road bike the uh the brake levers and the shifting levers those were aluminum uh, 
more of the brake lever some of these had a little bit of some iron in there so it's going to just get mixed in with a uh, uh breakage same thing here got a little bit i'll see if i can see if i can get a little brass off of that guy that's from the barbecue pit wasn't a whole lot that i got off of that barbecue pit mostly just this right here this you know the stainless the handles were stainless there was a stainless grill um uh, you know and then the uh, the little regulator that went on the uh the fuel line uh got our brackets here our brackets here and then uh this guy right here the bottom part the glass had broken and it was all open and then this this was in the bottom there was a little pump attached to it it said vacuum pressure pump this guy says it's a 26-1k mercury exposure system i want to do just a little bit more research into exactly what this piece of equipment is before i open it up because it's really heavy in there and i don't want to break something open and then expose myself to something toxic i mean it does say mercury right there on it so i got to do a little bit of research and make sure this thing isn't gonna you know expose me to some nasty stuff uh this aluminum ladder here i'm just gonna i mean it's it's no good it's been run over looks like almost or something uh i'm gonna just take this up to scrapyard as is i've never taken a full aluminum ladder we'll see if they give me aluminum pricing for it or if they give me like dirty aluminum i hope they don't try to do like breakage on it because i mean i'd say 95 to 98 percent of this ladder is aluminum except for you know you got some steel rivets and some little plastic feet and stuff but for the most part the weight here is aluminum so we'll see what they do you know it's always a uh adventure to bring stuff to places and see you know what they will and will not do uh another the little bit of aluminum over here got that uh, electric pressure washer i went ahead and cut the cord off of it uh we're gonna strip that down probably here in the near future i'm gonna start doing these little video segments called uh taking stuff apart uh the, the first one i'm gonna have will be tomorrow uh father's day and uh, we'll be taking apart an oil field pump package uh, for scrap I kind of go through I got a little bit of background in the oil field so I kind of know a little bit so we kind of break it down for you and what's what and what and then you know how we ended up making a few bucks off of it versus just scrapping the thing out whole uh, this little kids bike right here it's nothing's fancy it's a Kent Walmart special but it's still in pretty good shape I'm gonna pump the tires up clean it up get that chain fixed make it look a little bit sicker and uh we'll try to throw it up online for 20 bucks we got another garage sale coming up pretty soon so if it doesn't make it uh which it probably will 20 bucks uh, for a bicycle goes pretty quick around here but if it doesn't garage sale 10 20 bucks uh some kid would be totally happy with that uh the little square table works that's the metal top one use that for my little workbench that other square one right over here it works just fine so we're going to keep that that's always good for you know hanging out in the garage uh you know doing projects and stuff on but um, all right, well let me get uh, let me get a few more things here, and we'll do a quick run up to the scrapyard and get a few bucks. So let's go. Y'all check out my hoard. Woo! Look at all of those. Uh. Yeah, guys, this is uh, my collection of. Uh, fan brackets i don't think i'm quite ready to bring her in yet all righty y'all well, we're gonna go ahead and shoot up to the scrap yard don't have a completely full load today but we should be able to get a couple of bucks uh like i said back there we got our iron scrap little bucket there that's just a miscellaneous iron scrap as well got a couple of compressors here a uh, handful of motors these square ones are these uh ones i was telling you about that uh came off the uh, oil filled packages that we're gonna do a video on sunday a uh, couple of motors there vacuum motors these, these are the ones out of the vacuum. I don't remember, I think this one came out of a fan. And then this is that one out of that mercury thing. Uh, got some breakage over here. And uh, yeah, this aluminum ladder. So let's, uh, let's go get it. Ow! All righty scavengers! Let's go get a little jingle jingle. What you say, what you say?
bro. About 600 pounds. Alrighty scavengers, here's how we did at the scrap yard. Iron came in with a net, uh, 580 pounds. They're getting 0 0.043 cents per pound. Gives us 24.94. Non-ferrous, uh, the aluminum, that was for that ladder. So we ended up getting good aluminum pricing. 15 pounds, 35 cents a pound, 525. Uh, AC compressors, uh, 44 pounds, uh, 0 0.095 cents a pound, 418. Electrics motors, uh, 77 pounds, 14 cents a pound, 1078, uh, gives us uh, 2021. And uh, the, those ceiling fans that I have uh, back there that I was gonna scrap out, they don't do breakage at this particular scrap yard. So I'm, I'm just hanging on to those and I'm gonna take them to the other yard that takes it. Uh, but hey, we did $45.15 today. Yeah, $45.15, not too bad. Well, alrighty scavengers, that's going to do it for this segment of Curbside Scavenging. I'm your host with the absolute most, Mike the Scavenger. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, uh, share the video with your peeps. Uh, shout out to everybody that bought some merch. I appreciate that, guys. I love you helping me out. Uh, if you're interested, down below, there's a couple of links in the description. Teespring and our uh, Etsy page. Go get y'all some stuff, guys. Well, alrighty, well, I'm going to get back to it, do my own thing. Uh, Y'all have a lovely rest of your Saturday. God bless. Hey.